All right, we do our way rise and give honor to the Most High Yah, His Son, Yeshua, the true Messiah. Always to all of y'all divine preachers in every place, preaching, teaching, living y'all's divine word. Always to the beloved ministers that labor with me in this part of in y'all whom I'm not ashamed to call brethren. Could this greeting to them their perspective places. Also to those that are watching by way of live internet, to the dispersed, to the scattered, to the Jews first, and also to the Gentiles. Could this greeting to them their perspective places. <clears throat> As we often say last, never least, to the way of Yah synagogue. Amen. Bless you. Proper honor to you all in your perspective places. Amen. Once again, from TV, internet, radio, wherever our voice can be heard, wherever we can be seen. Before we came on, had nothing come on. When we go off, absolutely nothing else coming ain't on. Nothing else coming on. All right. If they're not teaching Kodesh, living a clean, sanctified life, the people ain't in nothing, <clears throat> and they hadn't heard nothing. This. Is an attempt to collect a debt. To collect a debt. Whatever you hypocrite, false pretend, backbite, mumbling, grumble against will be used in that collection of a debt. These messages are always being recorded for quality assurance to make sure no side didn't get covered with nobody. But everybody got to come in, brother. Red by the door. Straight, narrow path. At the sixth chapter of the book of Romans, at verse one. Man. Hey, man, other brother, before you get that, give me um, Proverbs 14 and 12. Let me see that's what I want. Listen. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. How about the four? Is it 4 and 32? Let me see what that's like. 4 and what? 27. What, what does 4 and 20 say? So it's right. about righteousness exalted the nation. What I want, 4 and 14 and what? 12. Is it 12th chapter book of Proverbs? 1234. All right, 1234. Thank the Lord. 1232. 14 what? 1434. That's what I said. Why did they say 1034? Hold on for a minute. I, this is the third time you ain't believe <laughs> What I asked Ivan, I said, Ivan, if I give you something, I went, who you supposed to go see, Ivan? I said, I'm going to see me. <laughs> I explained to Ivan. I said, Ivan, come on, get up here with me. Two him and Ken. Walk me down here like they walk Jesus. I said, we well, ain't supposed to be with one person. Let go. I was still walk. I said, you don't believe the Bible. What you said? What? Huh? Oh, the fourth chapter. 28 verse. Let me see your Bible. Let me see. Show it to me. Four, let me see y'all. What now? This what chapter is it? In the fourth chapter. See, we in the fourteenth. If you put a one in front of the four, you'll turn. You want you was in the fourth chapter. So when he read four, fourteen and twelve, what was you reading? <laughs> I'm just saying. What? See what four and twelve say? I'm just, I'm just kidding. What the four? I'm just sitting there saying they all wrong. <laughs> I just so you gonna leave us astray if we. I, we was all astray. Let me see what he said, I, I, I was in the fourth chapter. What? Let me see what he was reading in the fourth chapter. <laughs> Proverbs 4 and 12. What, what was Ivan reading? Listen. When, when thou goest, when thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. Mm -hmm. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Mm -hmm. and when, what was you reading? Oh, you were flipping. You hadn't got the 14 yet. Oh, he got the fourth. Okay. Go on to 1434. The hour made me think one in the book no more. That's all right. Thank the Lord. Woo! Thank the Lord. 1434. Proverbs. Listen. Righteousness exalted a nation. So, what is exalt, brother? That's right. Lift up. Elevate. Exalted a nation. So, we do right for the Jews. This is for us. He said, righteousness exalted the nation. That's what will bring us up. So you got to think about something. The Bible said the spirit of, of the Mashiach being you which also the same spirit being you was also raised him from the dead. It should also do what? Quicken your mortal Which make it a lie. It exalted. Which means we got to do right. <clears throat> Isn't that right? When Paul said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of who? That ye present your body. Living sacrifice. What else? Kodesh. That's good because the 10th chapter is what I really want. <laughs> brethren, my heart is I am 
Israel, for Israel that they might be what? For I bear them record. But not according to what? Knowledge. Knowledge. For they being ignorant <clears throat> and going about to do what? Right. See that? We look at what we just think about the mere fact they being ignorant of who's right. God. That's all you do. It's a lot of times people get thrown on word by prefixes and suffixes. That righteousness, if you take it out, it only means right. You're going to take it back to its root word. By God's right. And going about to establish their what? And have not done what? Unto the who? Who can we relate that to? As a people. I'm looking for a people that went about to establish their own righteousness. In the wilderness. In the wilderness? They're going to still be Israel. What about Nimrod now? Yeah. They built the tower. See, they were ignorant of God's right. They went about to establish their own right. Because they had they submitted themselves to the right. We can't say they were without the knowledge because God has always been here. Right. Since the beginning of time when man, people use that for a, a this, yep. this is what people use for always getting away. Yep. Back at that time, people, didn't, that's a lot. How did Abraham know how to obey right. his laws and his statutes? That's right. That's how right. was Noah found right? That's right. What about Seth? Yep. Mm. Isn't that right? What about Abel? How did they, how were they established and called righteous if there was no righteous establishment, right. no knowledge of God known? That's right. People you want to use that because it's more conducive for them to try to go and try to validate themselves <clears throat> as a sinner. The knowledge of God has been here. Yes, sir. People yes, just sir. have annoyed, have ignored it. That's why when you find them, and people put a great research in, you know what people do today? You'll find more archaeologists, more researchers, more theologians trying to go find out what happened to the Tower of Babel. Yeah. yeah. Which is of no significance to us. Right. Has absolutely no bearings on our salvation. Because if you look at it, all we find from that is what error. We find that God scattered the land because when people came together, it was in error. Right. We find Paul even told me in the 14th chapter, in the 11th chapter of the book of um, 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, when it came down to the Lord's Sabbath. He said, should I praise you in these things? I praise you not. Because they had gone about to establish their own righteousness. He said, when you come together, it was not to do what? Take the Lord's Supper. So which meaning, to say that meaning we had knowledge of it. Why would I say I find some sinners on the street saying I shouldn't praise you and if you didn't come together to take the Lord's Supper? They had no knowledge of it. I'm talking to people that had the knowledge, but they went about to establish their own righteousness. He said one is hungry and another one is what? Drunk. He said either every one of y'all take his own. Isn't that right? So these different things come up, and that's what we have to consider today. A lot of times people are coming in hearing the word. They're claiming the name, but they don't actually have the works that go along with it. There's a work that had to go on when you're saying that you are the children of of the man that should rule as God. And when we look at that, that's real significant. Because we find another man that was a son. What was his name? Adam. Adam, who else? Reuben, Jacob. What about Yeshua? Yeah. The Bible says in the fourth chapter of the book of uh, Galatians, the, let's see what it say. Four and one right quick. Amen. Galatians four and one. See, a lot of times we don't really pay attention. That, that's, that's actually a powerful statement. Because if you tell me that I'm the children of Israel, and Israel was the one who was supposed to rule as God, then I look to come in their possession. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way you look at children. That's children, right. are, children look to take on the heritage. Yes, sir. Eventually, you look to come and supplant. Like my father left. I'm a father. And it really, for me, it really kind of really signified it for me once my father passed. Because there was a man that was over me all my life. I had to look to as a father. I used to tell my son the all time. I said, well, that's my dad. My dad told me to do something one day. They started laughing. I said, let's go. They were laughing. He, had to, he was at a nursing home. He just snapped. They throw somebody's stuff and push the man out of the way. He had them doing I stopped him. He told me, he said, you get on out here and get them to them laughing kids too. I said, let's go. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Yeah, and I told him. I said, I said, hey, I said, that's my dad. Then I said, I got to go. See, once he paid that, go ahead now. I said, plan, I take that place. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? I take that on. Nobody sit over me now. And it's the same thing we look at it coming in possession of. We are the children of Israel. Adam sat in the place of a man, just like Yeshua did. He looked to take the place of a man. Once that man moved, if he was a child, the Bible tells us right here, this is what happened. Now listen. I say. The that, who? That the heir. The heir. A heir is somebody to do what? Come in possession. Come into possession of. Listen. As long as he is a child. What does he do? Differs nothing from a servant. So we are the children of Israel. But uh, under what? Listen what he said. Though he be Lord of all. Though he be Lord. So you understand, if we the children of Israel, that means we Lord of all. They picked it up in the fifth chapter of the book of St. John. He said, here the two, my who? Father. And what did he say? I do the same. What did he say after that? They took on statements after that. They said, we didn't look at the stone you just for no Sabbath. They said, but you being a man, calling your, make yourself equal with, equal with God. That's right. 
They had enough sense to pick that up. So if I'm the children of Israel, what did I just sit here and do? Make I just make equal. myself equal with well, Israel. God, that's right. Because I'm the children of, which means I look to come in the possession of. Right. I look to come in the full strength of. You sure did it on the right. day when he resurrected. What did he say? All what? Power. Is what? Given unto me. A child don't usually get it after death. Yeah. Who write a will and get a child everything while they live it? He got all his when he died. He was a father too. These ignorant people don't get it. Yeah. Isaiah tried to tell you, unto us, unto us, and his name, counsel, the what? The what else? Everlasting what? Father. So you see, even when he died, he had to be a father. When does a child come in possession? After the father died. Oh, they missed this. Mm. They missed it. <clears throat> you missed it. Y'all That's fell right. asleep. That's right. This man was the father. We knew him not just as the son. We also knew him as the father. Amen. After the father died, that brought him into possession. Amen. How's he going to give himself what given unto him? When did he get it? While he was living? No. He had to die. After the father died, he was able to take it on. Right. People missing all the time. Yeah. Listen. But it's under tutors. And governors until the time appointed of the father. Y'all hear that? The father appointed the time for him. When he was going to come in possession of it. So we look at the same thing. We're here to look on trying to take on the right type of information. We're going to actually possess the spirit. There's some things you all have to sit here to try to consider. Your name in itself solidifies a behavior. People say we kind of have, people feel like they say you got a kind of domineering personality the way you take. Well, I follow dominating God. My God is domineering. He over, listen, I'm going to overshadow anything these people got. My God overshadows. When he brought us out, he overshadowed us. He overshadowed the son on the cross. The son, David had already wrote, what wasn't going to smite him by day? Son. What was going to happen in order to keep it? In order what? Only that can happen. The father had to overshadow. Yeah. He that dwelt in the secret place shall abide well. The God I serve domineering. I got a domineering person. We subdue it. He told me when he got here, he told me to subdue it. Yeah. Anything he going to set me on, he going to be taken. That's right. When he sent children of Israel out there, he sent them to take it. He told me, well, they had to rise them, had to take it. Which means, you know what? They had to listen. They had to overtake everything. The, listen, the fame, the glory, these people had overtaken everything. The people are already afraid of them. They even hired bait them to stop them. So there's a people that come out, curse me, curse them for me. You know what? People don't feel because they know we don't actually know who we are. The time coming, though. More of our people are awakening to the knowledge yep. of who we are. That's right. Not only us, as people of the nation that's coming yep. into the knowledge of realizing God got a people. That's right. It ain't the people we've been lied to and told were people. That's right. All these other Hebrew Israelites, I get, you know, all of them talk good for me. You know, they'll start to come out saying, though, people don't even know it, man. But Christians and Muslims and Jews, all of us, I, I ignore it. You are 185% nigga with yep. no error to yep. the negative, all to the positive. Yep. Ain't no Christian, no Muslim, no same thing, and no Jew. No, sir. That's retarded. No, sir. Isn't that right? Amen. You can't ever equate these people. To, it's not even possible. That's right. We people that come in, but the only thing that Christian going to come in possession of is hell. Yeah. That's crazy. Ain't no, there's no way in the world a Muslim got no, no similarity, nothing. They walk around a done kufi on their head. No. no. A goofy with a kufi. Mm. Hey, ignorant people know attend. None of these people got nothing to do with us. That's right. They come down to it. Everybody gonna come. Listen, if you even watch, it makes sense. Even with Gentiles and other people coming in with Israel, people came in them because of what happened to them. Why did some people come in with them? Because they fear. When we were given power on the king of hustle that we could fight against our enemies, what wound up happening? People converted. The people converted and became Jews. What you think happened when God come on? We've sat down and even converted and made transformation to serve the living yeah, God. That's right. Isn't that right? The yeah. fear, the dread of us. God told us, I'm going to put the fear and the dread of you over the whole place. That's right. When people heard we were coming, people came in and lied to try to get in. Yeah. So this is, this, listen, when we left these shoes on our feet, they were new. Brand new. This is our bread. When we got, listen, we got it stripped. This is how we were always, this stuff cooled off in that molded. Mm. Shred the oven to mold it. That's how far we are from where y'all at. People don't realize that's how far a Christian and a Muslim are from us. That's right. If they take bread out of the oven hot and stick in their hand, it'll mold before they get anywhere near close to us. That's right. I'm talking about mold and disintegrate. Yeah. Isn't that right? You can go back and have to regrow it again. Yeah. <laughs> Still won't be nowhere in the running with where we at. That's right. Because we serve a supreme God that's given a supreme way. And the people that try to spend their time on trying, why they got to have it, they ain't got the sense of realizing, at least our God offered to everybody. Amen. And God, when he come, he said, be one manner for you, for the stranger. What is it for you? That's, that's right. That's a good thing. You don't come in and be a servant. 
Isn't that right? Amen. Let me tell you what he told. Pick me up at uh, Ephesians chapter 1 at verse 19. Let's see what Paul told us. Man, that's a different when you come in and take this thing Amen. on. What, what we didn't quite get right when we, were, when we were young Israelites under the law of under sacrifice and burnt offering before the sun had come on the scene and show us a new and a living way. All the other way we had was a dead way. Sin was dead and you offered up dead beasts. So all you could see was death at the end of the conclusion got to be death. Just being honest. For us, when we come along, we find you sure. The Bible says, let us therefore enter into condition by a new and a what? A living way. Isn't that right? That's what we look at. That's a living way. And you start living after you die. On the law, when you die, that was it. Yeah. Now it's a living way. And now when you come in, listen to what Paul told. You. This is for a Gentile. Listen. This is Ephesians 2 and 19. Listen. Now, therefore. You are yeah. no what? No more strangers and foreigners. You hear that? You are no more what? Strangers and, and what foreigners. else? And foreigners, but what? Fellow citizens with the same. And of, other, and of what? The household of God. Let me tell you why that's significant. Uh, in, the, in the book of Esther, the people converted and became Jews. Mm -hmm. Now, and you read our Old Testament law, it'll tell you the stranger. It wouldn't call them Jews. It wouldn't call them Hebrew. It wouldn't call them Israelites. Right. It'll say when we came out, we came with a mixed multitude. Right. So when we find Paul's statement that people are going to definitely go and fight with Israelites that don't think white people can be saved, they themselves are devils and going to hell. Not talking about the whites, the ignorant blacks that smoke right. weed with the done little puffy girl little hair dudes. The sad part is they don't even realize Paul's language or what he spake only going to be solidified by the law. That's right. And that right? No people converted. It became Jew. That's right. When you became Jew. That made you a fellow citizen. That's right. In the book, it said one man of law for well for you and for the who? Stranger. Which means that was still a separation. Right. The law didn't fully grasp you in the way this come in by this new living way. Mm. Right. Y'all see the difference? Amen. Amen. This stuff people miss. That's right. Because they still refer to them as a stranger. stranger he right. told you you should not oppress the stranger, stranger. that dwell among that's you. That's right. But see, when you start talking about a Jew, that brings a different set of laws. That's right. That's right. So when he made them a Jew, that got that. You can't come along and pull them. You can't come along and do that. Yes, sir. And then he already had, we know they got an inheritance among all of them that are sanctified. That Paul testified about the 26th chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles because we find when they came in in the book of Ezekiel, he clearly came in when we want to know about a stranger's inheritance. Yeah. We didn't know where a stranger inherited is going to be dealt with. Nope. Till he came along the book of Ezekiel, he let us know. He said, where else would a stranger dwell at? Well, that's his inheritance. That's right. That's right. So if you say he a Jew, somebody came in and said he a Jew. What, what kind of Jew? What Jew? You from uh, uh, Issachar Jew? Or you wherever I dwell at? <laughs> that's right. That's right. You just a Jew with no, no. Wherever he dwell, he said that's his inheritance. That's right. That's what, he go to my Hold on, hold on for a minute. What you doing going in the gate? <laughs> Think you get your hands That's off right. me. That's right. That's you right. That's right. I stay around here. Don't play That's crazy. Right. <laughs> I'm being honest. That's, That's the right. good thing about this. What the people, every other, the other gods are crazy. Yeah. Like he said, all the gods of the nation are idle, but the Lord our God, he made the heaven. Yes, sir. And the thing we look at, it's a, it's a way that everybody can come in and everybody can, and it come in and it makes sense for a person, a man or woman to be saved. Yes. It's got to be that way in order to have one way. Amen. If you come along and say all these people need these people separate entities, separate religions, separate and separate nationality, you ain't going to ever get no oneness of God. Mm -mm. Isn't that right? That's mm -mm. the thing about it. One way and God set up where everybody got to come through the same way. That's right. Isn't that right? Yes, everybody got to come in the same way. That's Amen. right. And that's the sad part people don't want to take. You're going to be an American citizen. Ain't but two ways you're going to get it. You're either going to be born here on this soil or you're going to go through it and you're going to complete time, take tests, and you're going to have to pass. That's the only way you're going to be one. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. Ain't going to be but one way. That's right. People are going to come into God. You're going to be born in this way or you're going to convert and come into it. That's right. That's the only way you're going to get it. And That's everybody right. got the opportunity. You can't go and say, well, unfortunately, I wasn't born in this skin. I wasn't born in this. It don't make no difference. The people born, they're going to be the first people to go to hell. That's right. That's right. So that's a good thing. It ain't a, it, what I love about it, it ain't a way. If I'm a, even if I come up to find and say I was never originally from the tribe of Judah or ever, never origin, originally from any of the tribe, the thing about it, I still got opportunity to be grafted in and got just as much right as anybody was born. That's in. right. That's right. Some people over here in America won't take what well, we know. We weren't born to speak for yourself. Yeah. Well, you got to be born. The book said you had to be born. What was it again? Again. Again. It just said born in Jerusalem? Nope. Born in you sure said you must be born again. Yes, sir. When he talked with the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman, he told her, I was going to come. You need to go worship where? In this this way. mountain, nowhere. In Jerusalem. Why, what mountain was that? He was telling this mountain. <laughs> Samaria. <laughs> Samaria. That's where they first heard it. Israel had her land first, Samaria. That was given to Israel. When they first heard it, they heard it in their land. They did not hear the Lord speak to them in no Israel. Ain't no Jerusalem. They ain't gone and possessed the land. That's right. That's why these people try to tell our right. father worship in this mountain. That's right. 
Ain't that right? That's right. So we come back to consider what we're going to do. We haven't been born now. God didn't come back to let us know we know we got. He said when he made his covenant the second time, he said, I don't just make it with them. I make it with you, too. That's right. For those that had no. That's what I love about it. It's a way to where I ain't got to sit here and realize I don't have a part because I wasn't there at Horeb. Mm. I wasn't there because I wasn't there at Mount Sinai. Right. I wasn't there because I wasn't born in Israel or born in Jerusalem. No, I'm not going to be a part of God if I don't obey God's word. That's Everybody right. got an opportunity to be saved. Yes, sir. Pick me up in the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. Amen. So you are no more therefore fathers and strangers, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. prophets. Why I had to say it that way, brother? Apostles first. That's right. Because of the new. The new part to make you do what? Go to the old. Oh, they Go ask them. Say, why they say apostles and prophets when the prophet? <laughs> Son, God work in <laughs> mysterious ways. <laughs> oh, that's always a good answer. That's all you got to tell anybody. You say that, what are they going to say? They're going to say, that's the truth. <laughs> That's a, that in all argument. You say, but how God did God just be moving. Be like, so as you moving closer to hell. Listen to the book. What shall we say then? Listen. Shall we continue in sin? That what happened? That grace may abound? What, listen to what God said. God forbid. God said, certainly not. Ask yourself, can you continue to sit around and be a son or transgressor to God's word? We said continue, that means keep going the road you're on. <clears throat> when do people ever get to a point you stop doing what you're doing and make a change? Continue. So we testify that all are sinners. All have Sin. S I N N E D. Amen. Sinned and come short. So there's a shortage. That when you look at a shortage, we can look at a scarcity, depletion. Anyway, if you sure we can look at it, ain't it right? So we're gonna look at it and come short. If something calls Eleven dollars and you got ten dollars. What you got? You short. I'm short. You short. So everybody was short. So now we look at what it takes in order to try to come. And the Bible was saying he was going to try to sit down and make up the, and look at the count to make up. What was it again? Trying to and to fill up the gap. Ain't that right? That's what the Lord was looking for because all had sin. So there was a shortage. In the book of Ezekiel, he said he looked for a man to make up the head. Mm -hmm. Somebody to come in and make up the short. That's why he had to bring his short on the same. Yeah. We were all short. You didn't yeah. have enough. Yeah. And what the price of salvation was, he told the redemption of your soul it cost. Costly. So you didn't even have enough in order to try to redeem. Told, and none of you can redeem your brother. That's right. When you come along and look at what the Lord required, we were short. Hey, man. There was nowhere, it was nowhere where we could fulfill it. There was nowhere a natural man going to come in and not commit sin. It's going to come up somewhere. He's going to have a shortage. It's going to be a depletion. Yep. There's going to be a scarcity. Israel knew that. Judah knew that. They fell into a lot of scare. They came into a lot of dearth. Isn't that right? They came into a lot of famines. A lot of things began to affect them because they didn't meet the measure. When Paul even talking about till we come into the full measure of the stature of Christ, because there was a shortage. Every time the rule was set, you looked at it, you didn't make that, you couldn't meet it. When the rule came down to give you 613 and what the law said, you were going to come up short. Yeah. Not a little, you're going to probably come up 615. Yeah. We're going to add an extra one. So somebody had to come in. He told you, I was looking for a man to make up the head to fill up the gap. For the who? That I should do what? But what did he tell him? You know, God, listen, and much of it, listen, and much of God came down, vexed him, troubled him, destroyed him, put all these things on. God didn't want to do it. Mm -mm. The stuff that God, the, the stuff that the most high God is allowing to come on people, affect people, then take people down, and you being stricken with things, God really didn't want to do it, but he couldn't find no man to make up the heads. Yeah. God, look at if it was somebody that could stand the gap, I wouldn't do it. Who do we learn that from first? Nehemiah. Abraham. Abraham. Exactly right, Abraham. Abraham did it. When he tried to get the Lord to spell Simon Gomorrah, we should have knew then there was no way in the world we could do it. Oh, yeah. It was no way. Yeah, if we go back and look at the fathers, it makes sense. Abraham tried to reason. Pre eventually, that'd be 50. He said, I'll spare. If it be 40, my Lord. He said, I'll spare. Please bear with me, Lord. If it be 30, he said, I'll spare. Just say if it's 20. Then he got all the way down to 10. You know what he told him? Get out. Mm -hmm. Get him out. Yep. Couldn't find nobody. He was trying to make up the head for the pick me up. Ezekiel 22, 28. This is what I'm getting paid to do. Amen. Dissolve all doubt when people come in and look at, but why did God destroy? Because these people are dumb. They don't know. You know what they worry about? He just got through doing the show. He was cracking joke. The funny joke going to be when you go to hell. That's right. A lot of stuff they take serious. That stuff, they don't pay that stuff a whole lot of attention. Mm -hmm. These people answering questions, they really want to be sad. You'll come here and get this book. That's right. I try to help people. People want to know about credit repair. Call Clark House. 
<laughs> a lot of folk got A1 credit. They're going to hell. Folk got A56. They're going yeah, to right. hell. Yeah, right. Get your life right. Hey, Listen, now, ain't, it ain't impossible for something to happen and you get into a bad situation. But what you do, you recover and get yourself out of you, somebody that's of under ten. Amen. Man, look, I had a house, I lost on the house of uh, $799,000 hit my credit. What you think they have when they hit my credit? Then I lost another house I had had $169 on my credit. Both hit at the same time. What you think my credit look like? But I'm a person with integrity. I got to get back into $700. Amen. That's just a given. What else I'm going to do? That's yeah, right. It's, I had a man look at my credit over years ago. I was going to try to buy a house some years ago. My boys were smart. took him there. That white man went in the house. I went in that house and looked at a house way out there in Fayetteville. That white man sat and talked when we looked at it. He, started, he said, he said, he said, let me ask you. He said, let me tell it to you. He said, you see these houses on this street right here? Uh, I said, all right, yes, sir. He said, I own all these houses. He said, I built every one of them. He said, I own this one. I own some more. He said, all this right here. He said, if you want this house, he said, I'll let you get it. He said, I pulled your credit when you gave me your information. He said, everything you told him was just like it was. He said, he'd been there, been in like 20 or 30 years. He said, you are the first person to have ever told me the truth on doing credit. He said, it don't make sense for him to lie because when I pull your credit, I'm going to see it. <laughs> he said, when I pulled it, what you said was just like it was. He said, the reason, he said, this is what people don't realize when you pull their credit. They'll try to tell you, oh, something happened. He said, but what they don't consider is I'm looking at your whole track record. Right. He said, you had those two houses. He said, you've never defaulted on anything else. You've always paid. You've always taken. He said, so it shows. Somebody know credit going to look at that and see that. He said, if you want this house, I'll make it work for you. He told me, he said, you want it. He said, this is what I do. He said, I'll sell it for you this amount of money. He said, if the market come back and if it go up, I'll still let it stay for that amount. He said, if the market drop, I'll drop it for you. I said, man, I appreciate that. I was happy. Got my kids back in the car. We rolled back out of Fayetteville. It was days. We were just riding. <laughs> Me and my kids just riding. Night came. Day came. Night came. Day came. Then night, night came. <laughs> then we stopped out around. We went in and ate. I looked. I said, we ain't never going back down. <laughs> I just, I said, I said, and then I talked to Sam. They said, you were down? I said, yeah. They said, we stay down the street. I said, man, good them. You need a Learjet. <laughs> just, you know, that's a hike. But I'm just saying, I said, well, thank the Lord. I'm telling you, people don't realize, you do the right thing, it'll come back. It'll show. Yeah. It's some people look at you and say, you know what? I believe in you. you do the, but some way you folks, you, if you look at your credit, all this show, the fraud beat 90, 180 days, 70,000 days you ain't paid. That thing you got nigga, 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 nigga. You ain't going to get nowhere like that. Yep. They ain't calling any credit for no devil. They ain't no devil. Pay these people their money. <laughs> That's right. I don't be ducking nobody. If I ain't got it, I can tell them, listen, let me work. But I don't have to do that. I ain't had to do it. But I could just tell them, what else I'm going to do? Yeah. They ain't got it. Amen. That's 799. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to talk about it. I ain't had nothing to talk about. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. You know, I just said, well, count that one a loss. <laughs> count, count it a loss. You got to keep rolling. But thank the Lord. I don't have to stop it. You got your mindset on doing the right thing. God going to be for you. Yeah, if right. God can be for you, who can be against you? That's right. A man was going to do that for me. My credit was still right, and a man was going to do that for me. I said that to say a good name. If you say you keep a good reputation, God will come back and get you. Like yeah. the man would not want nobody credit report today. Truth be told, your credit report just got nigga, nigga, nigga. Don't even worry about yeah, it. That's right. You know, good way you ain't got no credibility with your name. You tell somebody you're going to do the book says so say and do. I just, I don't get, I, for the, if I got your stuff, how I'm going to cuss you out when you call me? <laughs> you blank it blank devil. <laughs> That's why you going, first of all, hold on a second. Whoever your God is, I can't see him send me to hell and you just cuss me out and you don't go there. Right. Place. How your God going to send somebody to hell when you don't even pay your debts? That book done told you to owe no man nothing but the loving. That's yeah, right. Hold on, what you doing? Oh, I pay him. Mm -hmm. What I owe you? We got to, we'll work out, we make an agreement. We, I pay what I owe. I'm going to give you what I give you. This is what I'm, this is right here how we'll do it. I sign something, say, this is what I'm going to pay. This is what I'm going to pay. The Lord will, nothing don't happen to creek. If the Lord tear in the creek, don't ride. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, and then right. they say, what happened? Creek rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah, right. I'm going to start saying, Lord, he rolled on a windstorm. Lord, he rolled. <laughs> and I, you know that? The creek don't roll. <laughs> That old folk time, they tell you that, Lord Terry, you say, I see that, they say, Lord willing, Lord Terry in the creek don't ride. You be like, yeah, that's a good one. Because <laughs> old folk, they live in the wood, the creek ride, I ain't going to be able to come over and see. That's right. So they had to make it, they let you know that the, if the Lord Terry, if I don't die, and if the creek don't ride, I'll see you tomorrow. That's right. But rain come, don't expect it. Mm -hmm. Credit people call me, they got them. 
Oh, the rain keep on falling. <laughs> Isn't that right? That's all you can do. So many people. Don't worry about it. Y'all know. Come on, son. Finish this up. Ezekiel 22 and 28. Listen, listen to what he said. And her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar. What is that, brother? I stayed. Not testing. That's right. And, and you know what? That's what these people sit around there. He said they did with untempered mortar. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's what happened with a whole lot of people right here. Their faith is pretense. These yeah. preachers come along and tell these people lies. You know what I'm trying to empower these people on the premise of lies? What God want to give you? What God, if you, God want to release your blessing? God, God wants your soul released. Mm-hmm. What the good of my finances being relieved, my marriage, my kids being healthy, and we going to hell? A lot of people, I know sometimes, it is hard when you're going through and it looks like it's keep coming. When it's one thing, it's another thing and another. It was like that with Job. As soon as he got a message, another message, then another message, then another message. But yep. God proved out Job to be a righteous man. Amen. We know Job now. And one, the only one we find out him and Abraham to be called perfect. Yeah, yeah. that's right. The Lord said that. Said you yeah. consider my, said ain't none like him. That's right. Man said man perfect. Said, ain't he upright? That's yeah. right. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. We even find that in what we tell about upright. So what did Simon tell him? Hold on, let me tell you. What did he say? He right. Moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yeah, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. That which was written was what? Upright. Even what? So how would Job consider to be a perfect and upright man? He had a word. Now they're going to go along. You know, but Job, didn't they, you know what they're trying to figure out now? Where Job belong at in the Bible? <laughs> Where you saying, man, nigga? <laughs> I ain't got no, I'm, look, this is the stuff people, the stuff people will spend, it ain't a sin, but I got so much stuff to do. I ain't got time to go spend 85 archaeological hours <laughs> trying to figure out where does Job actually fit at in the Bible. I already know where he fit, where I got him at. When you find I was... <laughs> To knock, they got him over here listed in the other writing. Right, right. Just take it from where it's at. Yep. You go find out where. The, but I'm trying to think: was he before Abraham? Uh, this, uh, if it were for me to know, I guarantee God to put it. Yeah, in you're right. I, you're I ain't right. trying to figure out why Abraham and Isaac go. Yeah, because it's important. I already know. I got to know about the father, the son. I need to know about the dispersion. Yeah, right. Yeah, but he right. said, "Go baptize all men in the name of the who." Wow. And of the who? Son. And in the what? Because right. Ra- that's just dispersed. That's the disbursement right now. Like the spirit on the day of Pentecost, it dispersed. Once the father acted and gave it to the son, when the son died, then the spirit could disperse. That's right. All the son and the uh, real hawk and dish, day of Pentecost, they baptized the name of Yeshua. They got it. Yeah, right. That was the name. That was the just be baptized in the name that were given that, that were given to the father. All this stuff we sat down and considered now, folks, it's important for us to sit here and get an attitude, get a knowledge of what we're doing here. Amen. Take on the right attitude towards serving God, and that's what we lack. Y'all sleep, tired. I know doing the feast and other stuff going on, then you get so much going on in just natural life. But that shouldn't affect the way you live toward Amen. God. Amen. That's right. Listen, that don't mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not taking away anything about being tired and being, you know, overburdened with stuff. And they're kind of serving God, the truth be told about it. When all these things come and play on you, when it start to affect your servitude toward God, I got to let something go. Yeah, Amen. that's right. That's right. That's that bottom line. People can say what they want to. At the end of the day, if I don't serve God, I'm going to go to hell. Mm-hmm. I can go into foreclosure. I can lose a car. I can lose anything I got. Clothes. I can lose a marriage. I can lose a child. It's hard. It's breaking that ear. But I can't lose my soul. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, I can't lose my soul. And coming down, this is what y'all don't consider. There's a whole lot of other people going through life just like you here. The Bible says ain't no temptation taking you. It's up with your common man. Yeah, right. What the word common mean? Very my I walk up and say, man, look at this shirt right here. This shirt right here. Man, this shirt. Right you say, man, everybody got one of those. So ain't a whole lot to it. Mm-hmm. So your problems and what you're going through ain't a whole lot to it. Yeah, you right. make your stuff bigger than what it is. Yep. It's all about what you want to put behind it. At the end of the day, my soul got to be saved. Hey, Amen. That's what I got to consider. In everyday life with everything on, my soul got to be saved. Yes, sir. So I ain't but so far I can go with anything. I got to keep an attachment. But when it comes down to my soul in the line, I had to detach myself like one of them Autobots. Amen. I said, Ben, I got to test myself. I got to do job the space shuttle. Let it go. In order for me to, you know what? That's what people, man, that space shuttle take off one whole piece. By the time it get to where it's supposed to go, hypothetically, if it were for real, <laughs> you got to let something go. This is me. I ain't been in nothing. I got to shoot up in the air, call all these billions of dollars, and the junk just falling apart before it get it. Me, I call a wreck. Yeah. Then I call mission accomplished. <laughs> mission accomplished getting in a whole piece. Mm-hmm. Right? Amen. 
I don't listen to these lies. How you know how to get back in him when you left out of him? I don't listen to these folks. That's when true. I own Bible, I'm sitting here and told you, set a man over the congregation, that the congregation of the Lord be not a sheep to have what? No shepherd. That they might do what? Lead them out. And then do what? Bring them in. Now you telling me, they only, how they know how to get out of here and get back in? Right. No, you got to know how to orbit the earth. You ain't going to quit lying. <laughs> All they got some orbit chewing going. I don't play that junk, no attention. I don't even chew it. I'm just saying so much stuff, going to for waste so much time. I don't even waste my time trying to go research, did they really go? Because that make me, that'll make it look like I kill. <laughs> go on and tell me, man, some stuff on YouTube, show they went. I guarantee they ain't never looked it up. <laughs> Somebody can shoot it to me if that's what you got time to do. I ain't got time to go look for that stuff, man, I'm busy. I'm doing a great work. I can't come down. Amen. Man, I'm going to them sky to my, you wasted time. Now you're going to hell. Uh-oh. There you go. You'll be like, hammer. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, I'm going to hell now. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. I ain't got time for that stuff. I don't care where these people go. I don't even know they be on the left and came back. Hey, man, I got about as much care going by a Toyota Tundra because they can pull one across a bridge. Do you actually think I have the time to go wait? The first of all, you know how dumb you got to be to go take a done, what, 24,000 pound space shuttle, put it on a bridge. Go get a Toyota and one screw and stick it in there and move it a couple of feet. You just got to be a boring nigga. <laughs> you know how much stuff I could be doing, wasting time doing? Hey, man. Hey, I'll be somewhere man. pooting in my sleep. I ain't got hey, time for no stuff like that. <laughs> wasting gas and energy and busting up boats and no tired, nothing flat, all that sweating and hee hawing and crane. And all these fucking are starving and her nigga ain't got a job. They be so excited behind it. They ain't sitting around looking at, first of all, all of you idiots. All of them that was involved in it making it, the cameraman was an idiot. <laughs> all the stuff you could be filming. You know Amen. what I'm saying? Y'all good? Amen. I just ain't got time for no stupid stuff. Some stuff people wait time ain't got no. I'm like, man, my man, I'm doing a great work. I can't come down and fool with that stuff. Hey, man. That's a lot of stuff out here people got time to fool with. I ain't got time. That's right. I'm trying to research behind. I know they're liars. Yeah. Be on the phone. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me hang up and call you right back. The phone tap. Let me tell you what happened. When I hung up, they cut the tap out. Then I called you back. Hold on. We only got 20 seconds. They kicked back on. You a real <laughs> nigga. Well, I got to say, I just say it. That's I right. To, yeah, That's people right. say they want to. I'm pretty flat and plain. That's right. I just got to say what I got to say and keep going. and keep. If I ain't worth saying, then I just keep it. If that's what I feel, I go on and say it and keep moving. I ain't got time for all that. I got to tap it. Oh, who behind me heard it? If they heard it, it's like Josh said, when everybody walked out, he had to come in. Everybody left. He said, apparently the Lord didn't intend for them to hear it. They left. <laughs> <laughs> you, know I, you know what I don't think about doing then? Why weren't any number of the people that weren't intended to hear it? I want to lead too, but I was, the I was stuck right there. <laughs> he thought he was going to make it. That wasn't so bad. We had a brother, me, everybody. We like, Josh. I was like, Josh, like, he had a story. Everybody just got him, just walked. I mean, they just uniform walked. He said, hey. He said, who all left? It, it wasn't, the Lord hadn't intended for them to hear it. It wasn't for them. <laughs> I'm saying, like, when I heard it, I'm like, really? It wasn't for me either. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have been. <laughs> I shouldn't have been sitting there. It didn't make no sense. There's a couple of people in this room and on the other side of that camera. When they tell a story, you just had to really just sit back. You just had to just watch and say, something's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Andre? Uh, you tell uh, Andre, Andre is a great brother. Uh, but if you let him tell you something, if he says somebody said, make sure you sound in here exactly right. Because he's going to get it partly wrong. By 95% of the wrong, he'll say, you know what I meant. In that right here, so you had to decipher his stuff. When brother Mike stuff go, it's best to have somebody else down, and then just start talking to him. Don't even reply. You start there, him. You start that. Dude. Just said, Mike, cut it out, Mike. Don't do it. You come. He's, I'm telling you, preach, preach to tell you. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Stop stopping like this. Anyway, that, it get rough, man. It? It's about it get rough around here to get it going. Hey, the Lord, who the other one? Joshua? Joshua? <laughs> I remember he told a story about how he used to, I appreciate it, bro, how he used to shame God. <laughs> I mean, even before he even came that way, just make God just look bad, man. He said, man, God sitting around, he said, man, fella, sit around here, man, fella. Well, sleeping with my girl, man, get my girl. So I just shame them guys, man. They're like, 
Yeah, man, my buddy, man, he was sleeping with my girl. He was like, I just shame. He just shame. I said, I said, man, I wouldn't want to be your friend. I, I felt bad just hearing it. Yeah, just shame him. He just like. Man, I'm just like, maybe somebody, he need to be talking to somebody else other than me. Isn't that right? Because I can't even think of how the man got your girl and you shame him like that. You know what I'm saying? In the street, who worry about being shamed? <laughs> but I mean, anyway, but that was when you was, they used to call you New York. When he was from uh, Long Island. When he was from Connecticut. <laughs> now, where you were from? Rhode Island. Where you grew up in? Rhode Island. So where, else you, where did you ask you to stay at? Huh? They, they going to tell me from Florida. Then I just said Rhode Island. Yeah. <sighs> and Chicago. You, you from Chicago too? You live in Chicago? What? Brother Kevin said he ain't never seen you now. <laughs> Brother Kevin, the police. How the police ain't never seen you? Where were you at up now? So, that where you live at? Work at the south. You from mm-hmm. uh, south side, ain't you? Oh, no. You from the south side? He's from something like that. You should have said, then he said he might know your family. That man said you don't know him. How you going to know his family if you don't know him? Big as cigars. He's like, I don't know Brother Dad, but I might know his family. So you just know people, families from up down? You know a lot of different families? He don't know no family. He might know. Let me ask you a question. This ain't one of the things you think like I care about him. I was almost, no, no. They kind of like that space. He really had that conversation like we just going like we and him friends or something like that. They kind of like that space shuttle thing. I ain't got nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? Get quick, give me a computer. Let me look and see if they actually go to space. I don't care about anybody. <laughs> Woo! Man, something wrong with y'all people. Woo! That's all right. No, you good though. But your family real big up there in Chicago? So you don't keep having the conversation. You don't know when to stop, do you? We still talking. I'm doing the last rose. <laughs> yeah, he done shame. Hold on. I feel so bad. He done shame. Yeah, that's good. It takes all of us to make the world go round. I, you did. You do. You do science. You teach science. Scientifically speaking, the world spins sits on an axle, slight tilt. It spins at a certain rate. People don't realize. It's, according to them. He laughed. He don't know that though, does he? Am I wrong, Solomon? See, the whole lot of study be at the black university. You know they think something like that ain't. M I C K U. Huh? Who? Axel. It's got two with no Axel. Axel saying Axel. Yeah, what do you think of him? He said it's been on an Excel. What? I said an Axel. <laughs> It's, it lays, it has a tilt and it spins. It does, people actually think, suppose, this is all scientifically now, that the earth does not actually sit up straight, it actually sits with a slight tilt and sit on the axle, on the axis. And then, now what happened, the speed that it spins at, the red, it spins what? 15 degrees an hour. On the west side, I don't know. So that's, no, that man dealing with, you can't, degrees ain't speed. I'm finna go. Listen, y'all. Listen, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I ain't got time. I'm gone now. <laughs> I can't stand here. Kid, where did this come from? Degrees ain't no speed. Kid said 15 degrees an hour. That's either heat or cold. Listen here. I was so, let me tell you. Mother Smell, let me tell you something. Listen, when y'all move me to the Cato, Back in 1978, I almost cussed. I thought I was a cussing kid. I apologize. Y'all saved me. Because had I stayed in Atlanta Public School, I'd be walking around there, you know how many degrees are out there? <laughs> kid, where did you get them? Hold on. You can't use degree for speed. You don't use that for heat or cold. Man, y'all better be glad. If Karen was y'all pass right now, y'all, people be laughing at y'all. Oh, the tilt. That, you can't use degree for tilt. The angle, the angle, the angle, the angle. A degree angle. can't, that's not a speed. Huh? 
Ho, ho, ho. That's not a dick. 15 degrees, he said, uh uh-uh. He said, that's a distance. It is. Because 15 degrees is a long way from 100. <laughs> so, it can, a, a distance? How you 15 degrees away from me? Oh, you trying to do something different now. I don't know. Y'all want something? Do y'all want me to just sit down there and carry care? care? Yeah, they finished. Come all over. I mean, let me talk to you about Rhode Island again, Chicago. I'm sorry. What what does happen in Chicago? Cause it's the, so you gonna start again though? You, this is a setup. Just stop it. <laughs> How many of y'all care about he, where he lived at in Chicago? No, he he come yeah, God, apparently he didn't meant for y'all to hear it. <laughs> exactly. No, but, was, but back to what I was talking about, about the tilt, it says the slight tilt, where it spins at a certain rate of motion, speed, motion, speed. At spinning, it's believed that if it loses a mile per hour or increase, possibly that people could just start losing the gravity that keeps them still. Yeah. Is that believed? Is that, is that? So I say all that to get to an important point. Right now, we're all standing still. We're able to maintain and walk, set, if Josh was not here. <laughs> It'd be just like black splatter all over the wall. Not just in this room, it's over the whole planet. So there has to be a level. Some people ain't like what y'all do. Not just you. It's like you saying like your family from Chicago. So like if you put all these people, they balance the world out. He's got family area. because you don't. If you put all of the weights in one place, one place, then it's gonna change the, dy- the not dynamics of how things work. So it has to be equally equally dispersed. So he has people like in all of the different globe hemisphere, north, south, east, and west. You know what I'm saying? You got them equally planted. If one dies of his family, then somebody else is born immediately. It's like soon away. Like, come on, let me just give them use for me. Come on. Man, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull you this way, you're gonna pull me that way. Going out, coming in. That's how his family works. <laughs> Going out, coming in. So that's how they work. So that's if, if that, that slow down a little bit. If you ever find yourself you're doing it right here, somebody didn't work out right in his family. <laughs> I don't even know what this means. But anyway, just remember, if you don't remember nothing else but stuff, get real tight and hard in your life. If you stay and maintain 15 degrees an hour, I mean, at a constant, just know at that point, you and the world are like, I know he's right. 23.5. They don't got crunk. Todd, you finna go get your book. Todd said, Todd said, ain't that serious? I'm gonna get no book. But only here where we can get these kind of interesting conversation. But the thing becomes now what we have to look at, the most important thing, is how we set and where our level at is with God. Every one of us in here had to really sit down and take inventory to consider where your obedient line is. Because you've got to consider, as he tells us in the sixth chapter of the book of Romans, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God said no. Then he asked the question, how can we that are dead live any longer in it? We know when a person is dead, we talk about loss of life. At that point, loss of life means you're no more participant in the things of the living. People that sit in the world that commit sin are counting themselves among the people that are living. People that sit around and see and do the things that are God. What do people say? You look old. You look like you dead. You don't do nothing like a dead person. Out of their own mouth, they're trying to tell you there's a difference. What the first thing we do to try to come along and appease them? Try to show life. The life that we show to appease them is doing the things that they do. The only way they're going to acknowledge and see is a change. You got to come to whatever I'm calling you to. You got to do something that I do in order for me to feel better about you. Which means they get you off the premise of what you're supposed to be doing. There's supposed to be a difference between us and them. A lot of time in life when we do things, things happen. And you get a certain type of feel and different things come and happen to you. At the end of the day, we got to consider we've been given a commandment. If we're truly dead, as Paul said, it, um, Colossians 3 and 1. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 1. Oh, I'll try to get, and get y'all out of here, too. But thank the Lord. It's good for us to be here. Amen. 
good for us to get an understanding. Yes, sir. At the end of the day, you know what? People don't shake and move me. I'm good. Listen, I run across all kinds of people. You know what everybody want to know now? Y'all doing them Hebrew classes yet? So we hanging in now. You know, we doing the Hebrew living. You do the Hebrew living, the communication already down. Amen. That's all. That's a clean conversation. That's right. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. On the day of Pentecost, they speaking Hebrew? Parthian, me, Edomite. Right. They had the Hebrew. They had what people miss. When you got the lifestyle, the conversation is already Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Yes, when sir. When people go to, listen, I know people can speak some fluent. Malachi, y'all speak fluent Hebrew. So they say, but then again, Hebrew is such a discrepancy. Who knows? Yeah. That's yeah. what he say. Yeah. He also speak um, <clears throat> speak um, fluent Nuwabian. What is a done Nuwabian? Right. Is that a Whopper with no cheese? <laughs> I'm just saying these people make it. And he's convinced the world that this was the oldest language before Aramaic, that the language was lost, and he's found it. If it's lost, you don't know where it's at. Mm -hmm. How did you get it? And when you get it, when you got it, how did you know how to speak it? These people tell for people to receive be the diamonds. This way, this way I look at all these people that come up with all that knowledge. They read books, books that were written by other people. Books that come along, they read books that come along and say, we ain't the people. Fluently learn a book that said we not the people. No proof of evidence, book said it. You're going to recite something some idiot told you with no real information to prove it out. Right. Unlike us, when we set out and say certain things, we can prove it out. Just like we said, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles. Yeah, and pro apostles. For us, knowing the law, you can see the same pattern of us. You shall eat old store. Why? So it makes sense, the apostle, because then you got to go back and, and got to eat the prophets. That's the behavior we got to have. When you sign and eat, we learn. And then what makes it so bad, this is an everyday given for yep. people that know how to shop their stack and store. This is what some people do. They buy meat from the store. They put the new meat on top of the old meat. Yeah. Versus that should be rotation. Right. That's what happened with the word. We get Old Testament. We get New Testament. It should bring in rotation. Which means every time you bring in something new, something needs to rotate from the back. Y'all understand that? But they don't see that. It makes sense in everyday, not just to the spirit aspect of man. It makes sense to the spirit, to the natural aspect of man. If you got a real mind to serve God. Listen. If the... If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which now, are this above. This is the thing right here. All you're doing at this point, he's asking people. If you're saying you say, I'm not questioning you. But he's saying if you have, then you ought to be seeking those things which are above. When Christ was resurrected from the dead, that was something he was waiting to do. Who know what it was? Go up to the pond. After he resurrected from the dead. Y'all taught this. Go up to the pond. A sin. What was he waiting on? You're right. A sin. What was his hold back? He was unclean for 40 days. He was a male child. He couldn't get up. But see, the idiot, that's what they do. Die, you go straight to hell. Everybody know that. Go ahead, these people, somebody, how many of y'all grandmama did? How many of y'all told your grandmama was in hell? How many of y'all granddaddy did? How many of y'all granddaddy told him? They don't do that by daddy. Daddy go straight to hell. <laughs> you ain't no granddaddy. You going straight to hell. I, I, I'm so glad I got grandchildren. I don't know what to do. I'm, saying, you just, I'm telling you, leave here, you dead. Because daddy, daddy going to hell. Cause mama done ran him down so but he ain't going to hell about he's gonna go to hell because mama done ran him down. Mama say he's going to hell. But it becomes a factor that we had to sit down and consider. People are brainwashed. He said that if you then been risen with Christ, then you gotta seek those things which are above. Which means after he got up, he realized there's something now that's preventing me. But I have to wait to my completion. You know, even Joel <coughs> said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. All the days of my what was he said? 13, 15. Joel. Let's see. You're right. Let's see what he said. And it makes sense, don't it? Let's see what joke. This is his testimony. You know when they quote this? When somebody come to re represent their call. They ain't paid <laughs> an 18. They ain't paid an 18 months. Though he slay me, yet will I trust. Is God slaying you or you've been 18 months behind on payment? They quote stuff. It makes no sense. And that's what I'm talking about. Them people real spiritual like that. They spiritually retarded. <laughs> right. It's a difference when you're up on top of what you're doing and something. Not to say things can't happen to you in other forms like that and put you through, but it's nothing of your own accord. But some of the stuff people go and quote God in, ain't really got nothing to do with God on, on the fact, mere fact of you just not an honest person. Amen. Or you somebody that do something that, you know, do something undercover, and now your stuff come back to get you. Right. Listen to the book. This is the 13th chapter of the book of Job at verse 15. Listen. Though he slay me. Though he what? Slay me. Yet will I do what? Trust in When him. was Job slain? 
This had to be talking about Yeshua. Yeshua, that's right. The book said he was a lamb slain before the foundation of the world. Yep. Slain. And yet he said, though he slay me, yet will I do what? Trust in him. Listen to what he said. But I will maintain my own, mine own ways before him. That's what the son did. In the fifth chapter we talked about before in the book of Hebrew, they say, though he was son. <laughs> that's right. Yet he learned obedient by the thing which he suffered. And all that, it said, and he was heard. He was heard because of his godly reverence. He had a reverential awe for God. That's what hurt us a lot of times, and I serve it too. That's not a reverential awe for God, which means that we should want to always be on God's good side, not his bad side. We ought to stand and be to look at God almost in astonishment. You know what I'm saying? When all the apostles came forward and they seen his presence and came in and everything, Isaiah said he came in an altar and touched it. He said, I'm, a, boy, I'm undone. Because of that reverence. You know what? If God appeared up right now, it really wouldn't be a whole lot to it because we're not people that fear God. That's true. That's why he didn't go on appeal to the other people. When he even asked about it, he went, what other people he said had hey, hey, God so now? What other people have heard the words of, and live? Why would he go and speak it to a dead people that don't have any conscience about life with God? A lot of times, what y'all look from from the word, you'll never achieve it because, first of all, you don't have an understanding or a real desire for God. It's going to hinder you in being changed. You had the Amorites. The children of who? Who were they the children of? Amon. Ammon. Who was, who was Ammon? Lot's son. Lot's grandson. Lot's son. Ammon was Lot's grandson. Why he didn't go up here to them? Hmm? Lot was a just man, wasn't he? Yeah. Abraham's brother. Yep. It was a nephew. He called him his brother. Because you know what our law came and said about redeeming? If I can't do it, I'm your brother. Who else can do it? Uncle, your cousin. uncle. Get it right. Your uncle, uncle. could redeem. Him. Because Abraham was not his uncle. He was able to redeem. Him. Yep. Why would the book just come on and tell me if your brother can't do it? <laughs> That's your uncle? right. Yeah, but right. Why, if you're reading about what did that mean? <laughs> yep. Why is it talking about an uncle coming yep. to redeem me? Abraham, because Abraham, Abraham was actually Lot's uncle. uncle. That's right. He called him brother. When That's he came right. down, there's going to be a dispute among them. Right. said, We brothers. Both their Herman was sitting here, and it was a big thing because their, their uh, animal had increased, and their Herman was, there was a division among them. He said, listen, this, this shouldn't be. We brothers. Whichever way you go out and take it, I saw it don't be a matter of saying, I'm telling you, I'm going to go that way. Well, you know, you know nigga, why you want, I was going to go, you lying, you ain't going to go that way. So the best way to do it, whichever way you go, I go the opposite. I let it be on you. And then Paul, you tell, why you don't suffer yourself to be the fraud? That might be the way you want to go, but if it's going to better for the betterment of us and being brother, whichever way you take, I take the other. So we look at how our law comes into play such a part in what we do at looking at the fathers. This is why y'all don't actually consider. Why do you think he would appear to a man like Abraham? I, because they feared. When, Job, when, when Jacob sat there and he prayed, and he said he saw the angel ascending and descending. He got up and said, how dreadful is this place? What did he tell him? Awesome. Awesome. What I seen, he said, how awesome. He said, this is nothing else but the house of God. And this is the gateway hey, to this place. Yes, sir. He had a reverential art. That's why God went to pit. Look at Laban. Laban was his relative. Yeah. Abraham came out from their house. That's right. That was like, that was his nephew. That's right. Yeah, God didn't appear to them. That's right. I don't consider, if you ain't got a fear for God, people, a lot of y'all want, how many of y'all have desire or want an appearance or some kind of acknowledgement from God? Something you could take, some, something you can take tangible. You say, God, if he could just give me a comment, if God could just show me, if God could just, just, just do something out of, so that'll just kind of confirmation for me, let me know I'm on the right path. He did. He left the word. That's right. That's right. Believe it or not, because I've been in that same state before. That's why I know. If you can just get that one little thing. That's, I mean, it ain't got to be nothing. How many of y'all, it ain't got to be nothing big. Just somewhere you know it's from God. So that way, nothing can move you. You know for yourself he showed you God came, God spake, or God showed, or light, or something happened. If it's just a quick wink, it ain't got to be long. How many of y'all settle for that? You know what? That's why he won't do it. That's right. Because you can say what you want to. You know you're going to say one more. Yep. You're right. That, you know you're going to say one more. <clears throat> And then it's not going to be a matter of faith. Right. See, the operation of faith had to be different because what Abraham had, Abraham got it by faith. It wouldn't be possible for God to do that for you and then come along and bless Abraham by faith and come along and bless you and have to give you everything by sight. We're supposed to walk by faith and not That's by right. sight. That's right. We got that from Abraham too. That's right. Abraham was told him about this 18th chapter, 17th, 13th chapter or so of the book of Genesis. He had to walk. 
breath of the no, land. No, he had to walk the whole breath the of the land. Of he was walking land. by faith. That's right. That's right. He hadn't even got it. Abraham That's was right. doing that. Why y'all think he told you walk by faith? Abraham ain't got it. He told him walk. That's right. The height and the breadth of it. He had to walk the whole land. What would make right. him do that? That's right. Faith. Had to have faith. Yes, sir. That's right. See, let me tell you what the devil trip you up at. He, he tell, he's done to me. He'll do it. He'll get you so get you so mesmerized on trying to see something because you hear other people. I want what everybody else said they have. People died, I said, I want to die, but come in. Ask me what it was like when I died. Then I'm glad you asked because I was going down this dark tunnel. And there was a light there. And the light kept telling me, come to the light, Caroline. <laughs> Don't they pull the guys. Come, they ain't even your name. Come to the light, Caroline. And when I got to the light, I saw her. Jesus. And I wanted the soul to go. I said, Jesus, I want to go. So a Jesus said, not now, my child. Go back and tell the other people what you see here on Poltergeist and be a witness for me. And that's why I'm on your show today. Give me a hand clap. That's why I'm on your show today. This is called Niggerology 101. That's right. <laughs> People buy the hype. People want to hear some spectacular. Dead and go all the one come back and again what happened? Right. It was cold. <laughs> I was down in hell and it was just so icy. You were in hell, it was icy. <laughs> you fell on a slush machine. <laughs> I started saying, Dear God, dear God, it's so cold. Please. He brought me back. That's why I'm on your show today. Give me a hand clap. People want to hear it. I'm just saying, you know what? It ain't, listen, it, it's quicker. I mean, you know how many lies I can tell them pack their place out? It takes nothing to get these people because people want to believe, want to believe in the impossible. People want to believe in the retarded. It's just, it's there. It's just like, when you watch a movie, you're looking for that person up, down, and just, if they just come back, and you say, that's me. People put their whole hope on the people in the movie. That person that come back, that's my story. That should be me. I can be, want to see the bad guy get away. They don't care no more. Used to be a time you want the bad guy to get caught, get killed. Now you want the bad guy. Jason, now they tell, Jason, look out, they're going to try to kill you with Jesus. <laughs> you're like, nigga, you're probably hollering to the white woman who ain't got no shoes on when I do. That, I, that's, I just quit. I, white people, I just, I'm gone. I, I, mean, I just can't watch it. Because soon as white people get, and you know it's coming. If it's a killer, it's always a white girl with a boyfriend shirt on <laughs> who in bed, who hears something, got to go down the stair barefooted, open the door, walk out the door, through the yard, look around the house, and the door open. <laughs> go back in the house and close the door and don't lock it. This is, you know she's going to die. You already know. I got some out of time. What's the Lock the door, lady. Lock the, you know he in there. Get out, get out. <laughs> Walk right to the kid. Are you the killer? She make a nigga. He said, no, but sit your ass. Choo, 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 white woman. <laughs> See two white people naked in the car in the wood. You know they're finna get killed. <laughs> show, show, come on. Kill everybody. That name of the show, kill everybody. You know they're finna get killed. Just, just got out of the movie. Just let it cut the move off. I can't even watch it. <laughs> People need something. And the thing we're actually supposed to come along and supposed to give us a result has got to be God's word. Amen. These television shows have taken more control of us. They had us so set off from God until we lost it. That's right. If everything God left for us to believe in, and he ain't doing nothing extra, is what the book says. That's right. If you want to find it, you want to see God, look in the book. That's right. Get your teaching, see does it line up. Amen. God said, I'm going to give you the first and latter rain. We come along from fish and unleavened bread, see if we get rain. That's right. It come out. His covenant is there if you look. That's right. If you look at God's word, you see how God had described and how God had given to see if it worked out just like God said it. But that's the very way people don't want it. I don't want God. I want God to do this. That's why you can't be saved because you can't ask and look for God to operate outside of God. I used to be like that. You hear them met you saying, even though it's wrong, if they just talk to me, well, I, I, I never, that man said, that man had a little jerk. He said, I run say, God said, John. I said, what is it, God? I was like, you, you and God, I was like, you called him God? That's all y'all talk to him all the time. 
He said, this time I just run. I just looked at his head. God said, look at that nigga head. <laughs> I don't know what got me caught. He had, he had a little S character. I, I ain't talking to that nigga. I was just like, thank you, Lord. Because he, he said, he said, he said, he said, yeah, he said, he said, it was a message. They, they always get this. That same message you preached. God just told me that. I was running down the street. God said, John, I said, what is it, God? I don't think so. You took your eyes off the road. You were talking about it. Do it all the time. But you know what? People want. I was at a gas station. I had to take off some school tomorrow. Seeing that man, he looked about like a nasty bum. Hugging it later. No, they hooked playing for it. Got hand at the gas pump. I bet that. Listen, <laughs> I was so mad. I'm just bad. Woman just crying, weaving her head, other lady head, uh, cause, oh, someone. They, listen, <laughs> this thing working, they working that gas pump. I'm so mad. I said, I want to hide them. Y'all going to go right to hell. Woman just, the guy walked up, he done freaked up. He done grab, he hooked, listen, he got her hooked up like they're praying for. <laughs> listen, he done walked out his truck, come back, got another one. Give me another. Said, God, they got her praying for the hook. Just hooked. I said, I said, this is that stupid junk out <laughs> but, you know, but you know what? Years ago, out of bottom, I said, God moving right now. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because you know, you got Bible, two or three got them. Yeah. And they were just touching the other woman. Oh, something. God, they got to get the gas pump. Come back. Oh, oh, that one more. Got to touch you one more time. Woman, listen, ain't all this here slobbing and wipe the hand on her. I said, look at that nasty nigga. <laughs> all this stuff out here crying, making a done fool. I said, pray ain't went no done well. Right. I started telling you, your junk, you left your prayer left at pump five. Right. Nigga, you ain't got nothing. That's right. That's right. Listen, I was bored. I was like, Lord, if you tell me, I'm going to let them have it. I started to run to the telephone. Y'all are the dumbest niggas i ever seen in my life. But people want something. Yep. No doubt she went and told them. I was at the pump that day. And what happened anymore? No more show more. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I met some spirit pill, spirit filled people at the gas pump. Where all these spirit filled people be at? When the Saturday come. Right, right. It come, man. It's spirit all the back of the hair cut down like a needle baker. <laughs> Nails on, jewelry on, mm. got on a whole shoe with the split, mm. ain't got nothing. Nothing. That other fella had her hooked up, but he he get he hook, he go up on and get her like this. <laughs> that stupid nigga studied praying and cry. He praying with in a hug. I said, y'all are just go on and take out. <laughs> People just dumb. Yeah. Y'all might sit here and we can laugh about it only because God has given us understanding. Yeah. Some other been them fools. I remember mean, one time I took this fellow, you had another emergency train. Here I was dealing dope. Had the fellow go here on dope. I, took, I got him. I bought him some bologna and some bread. I said, I ain't give you the cash. I said, you take this. I said, you do something other different than that. I said, God's going to come back to get you. Got on the distance. I said, you know what? I ain't ashamed. Got out my van in Kirkwood. That one was rough. <laughs> Nigga could have got my head. Got on my knee with that crackhead. <laughs> he started playing. Right there. Broad daylight. <laughs> you good something? I was on my knee. I, you know what I said? I ain't ashamed nobody to come by. In Kirkwood, on my on that prayer, then nigga, we got some bologna <laughs> and some light bread. I'm on my knee praying to God. All this pork right here, I'm just praying. <laughs> Lord, take listen. My fact, this this is the sad part. I'm a drug dealer, shacking up, praying for God to take the taste out of that crackhead mouth. <laughs> I got because I want to let go. I want to shame. I'm finna do it. I'm finna get on my out. You know what though? I did a lot of extra stuff when I was doing wrong. Yeah, yeah. Cause you you do you like I yeah. want to show. I, I want to just show. Go up in project ain't got no business and I'm going to him for the Lord. Yeah. Nigga, you sell dope. <laughs> I'm not with you. It was like he told it was, he told him don't go up. I'm right. not with you. Right. We know what I'm saying. But that's how I want, I want to die for the Lord. I felt like if I died doing something for the Lord, it would cover for the drug dealing and for the shacking up. Man, I thank God he can't get me to understand it. Let me know something. Everything you deal with. Man, that crackhead crying. I'm praying. <laughs> getting that baloney, getting that bread. <laughs> I tell him, you want some power? Wow. I'm trying to help him get some power. <laughs> Man, I'm dying a little more summer. I'm calling. I, ain't, I can speak, but I'm praying. I'm calling God. Get the teeth out of his mouth. Get the tea. The tea. <laughs> Down there, just call them. They're praying. Hey, put your hands up right now. <laughs> I'm praying for that joke. I'll tell you how good that prayer worked, though. That fella got off and down with that bread. He got off and down with that bologna. And sold and got some crap. <laughs> All I want to know, what drug dealer buys bologna and light bread? 
Cold hustling to death. That's how good my prayer work. Gave him enough strength to get up and go and get him some crack. To break off that prayer I had put that heavy burden on. But I'm saying you do all the extra stuff. And I thought I was doing the work for God. Until the word came is the only time we identified to see our stupidity. When I talk about these people, they think, Smith, when people trying, they only doing that because they're doing something wrong. They're trying to put this extra effort in to try to cover. I can look right through that. That man having a good time with that woman titty. Well, her titty must have been milk chocolate, just salt million. He wouldn't let, listen, every time he hugged, he'd get up on her. He'd get up like he get up on her. <laughs> and start, man, pr- listen, there was that long press, that thing just standing like this. She all in the titty spirit. She just, that fella, in, that fella right here. <laughs> he, he got a hooked up for the bug, and I don't see him saying, y'all some dumb nigga. I'm saying, it's some dumb, it's out in public. Every folk trying to go to work, go, and y'all out here doing the bell hug sake snake dance at the gas pump. Think you're getting a prayer through. That brother went back to his car, got it cut, it, made sure he got I think he went back for one more. I had to hook her back up. That thing, she was just ready to pray. I said, look at I said, man, people so dumb, it don't even make no sense. There ought to be a legal limit like alcohol drink on being dumb. Right. You ought to just go blow in a bottle or something. Right. That's just show how dumb you are so you'd be arrested. That's to save your life. Right. DUIs are not only to protect you from other drivers, but it's to protect you from other protect you from yourself. So we can get like a legal dumb limit. We can protect dumb people. Do y'all not know there was a certain animal that wound up dying from being dumb? Called the Dodo Bird. Yeah. The Dodo Bird extinct. You know that? Yeah, you know, how long are you going to make it sit on just chewing and eating on yourself? you too stupid to know you're getting full off yourself. You can't consume yourself and still survive. <laughs> Dumb people got to stop eating themselves. Isn't that right? I'm trying to help people. Some of them think, what do you think about that, John? You going to talk to me again? Tell no, I just... Mm. <laughs> well, I told you, he's been extinct any day. But we're going to try to work to keep people alive as we go in the way. Come on, three and one, Colossians 11. If you then be risen with Christ, seek, seek those, those things which are above. Well, Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Who told him to sit down? God. David told him to sit down? God. God. Y'all told him. He said, David told him to sit down. <laughs> David said, go ahead and sit by God. <laughs> <laughs> David prophesied. I know you said David prophesied concerning what he heard it said. So, that's what we look for. In order to come in, there's got to be an invitation made. <clears throat> when he told you about a man had a certain wedding supper, what did he do? He sent out invitations. That's what a lot of people don't realize. The spirit is your invitation to get in. See, as simple as it sounds, why do you look at, what do you like popping up at a wedding without an invitation? If people that don't go, they'll say, why you ain't coming? They say, did you send me an invitation? So you can't look to get in God's kingdom unless you got an invitation. Now he said, if you didn't be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above what Christ said it on the right hand of God, which means you're going to sit around and wait to your appointed time. Like Job, though he slay me, yet will I do what? <laughs> All the days of my what? Life, or oh, he said appointed time, which is going to be life, because we know as it appointed to men. He looked at appointed because he had to look at the same thing. When a child, male child is born, it's appointed for the days. So that way he said, all the days of my appointed time, will I wait till my change come? Amen. He had to wait on track. That's what y'all don't look at. Amen. This is what he told you. Set your affection on things above. And not on what? Things on the earth. You can't do that unless you obtain the spirit. If you don't obtain the spirit, you're not going to be able to do it. That's why he said, if you then. Saying, if you've been saying you say like you say, why don't you do this? Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth. That don't mean you can't have things, but you can't love these things. These things are used. You don't sit around and love these things. You love them, they're going to wind up taking you down. That's right. Listen. For you are dead. And your life. Is hid with Christ in God. When Christ. Who is our life. Shall do what? Appear. Then shall we what? Ye also appear with him in glory. So what will you for this? When Christ appear. Then we shall also appear with him in glory. What will we pick up and look at this with? First John. What did First John say? We don't know when he shall appear, but we know when he shall appear, we shall be like in that first epistle of John chapter 3, verse 2. Was there a reason why you were quoting that? You're just feeling good again, right? What we look in gathering? What? Season, time, which means we've got to use the what? 
the stars. When Christ shall appear, then will she also appear with him in glory. Once the sun appeared, you remember he made some other great lights. <clears throat> Lesser light. Those lights were the set that are ruled with him. Those lights couldn't get there till he appeared. Then shall we also appear with him in glory, which making Christ the first fruit. Afterwards, so we find the S U the S O N as the first fruit. Right. Then all the other appeared with him. Remember? That's right. how they got into heaven. I mean, when I read this, if it, it's got to make sense. What do I reference it to? Because Paul said it. When he shall appear, then we also shall appear with him in glory. The glory for the sun to be in heaven. The, right. glory can't, the sun can't get glory down here. Right, right. He even asked the Father, <clears throat> glorify thou me with thine own self. Where did the Father say he was? In heaven. The Father was in the heavens. That's right. So the Son, in order for the Son to be glorified, he had to be in the heavens. That's right. So when the, when the Son appeared, then also we appeared with him also in glory. That's Makes right. sense? Yes, sir. That's what he told you to do. Mortify, therefore, your members. Which is to do what, brother? Got to kill it out. You got to kill it out. The lying, the hypocrisy, the fornication, the masturbation, the adultery, the, the, the backbiting, the hatred, the malice. You got to kill it out. That's right. If you don't, you're not going to be there. That's what yes, he told you got to do. You got to kill it out. Yes, sir. Listen. Which are upon the earth. Listen. Fornication, uncleanness, inort- inordinate, inordinate affection. affection. Uh-huh. Evil concupiscence. Listen. And covetousness. Which is what? Which is idolatry. Y'all see that? All they're going to come in idolatry. Because you worship, if you're going to do it, that means you follow another God. You should have told you that. You're of your, what was it again? The what? You look at that because a father instructed his children. That's why I say you was of your father, the devil. So if you worship the devil, that means you're idolatry. <clears throat> All those different, everyone know actually he told you to do You were taught not to do it. Why would he name them? Because you were taught not to do them by the father. But since you disobeyed that father, then you're an idolater. Uh, you're idol worshiper. You went to worship and you went to serve the other God, your other father. Listen. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. See that? You got the children of Israel. You got the children of disobedience. We're going to be the children of the devil. That's right. So all of y'all sitting here today watching in, y'all better consider them. Who you obeying? Who you obeying? Who you following? At the end of the day, it's going to come up during the day of judgment. While y'all here among the living, you got an opportunity to change. Make sure you get it right. That's good, brother. They can't take me so much. Thank the Lord.